Hi, I'm Paris, and thanks to the folks at Energy for sending me, according to their literature, the first major upgrade in umbrella technology in 2,000 years. Epic review, guys. Now, if you're wondering why a company called Energy is making umbrellas, it's because they have energized the umbrella. They've added a battery, I think it's in the handle here, that runs the umbrella. And if the battery runs out, or if you'd prefer, they include solar panels that will fit around the top of the umbrella so it'll charge it up while you're outgoing. Well, what does it need to charge? If you've used an umbrella on a day where it's rainy so it's very humid but it's still hot and under the umbrella where there's not much air circulation you're sweating, what you really wish you had, let's see if I can open this in here, a fan. So yes, they have plastic flexible fan blades up inside this meshed area. The mesh, of course, is to keep you from getting your hair up inside the fan. I'm guessing this is the power button. Let me show you up close. You can see the fan blades in there sort of flopping around. They've got to be very loosely hinged so they can fit when the umbrella closes up around them, but they need to be ready to produce a good deal of breeze when you hit this button. And there is a good deal of breeze. Release this, and there we go. The fan is back up inside the umbrella. And you may have noticed most umbrellas don't come with the plug out the tip. This is to connect to the four solar panels that will fit around the top of the umbrella and charge the battery up. It can either keep the fan going, charge the battery, and or charge your electronic device. Here's a close-up look at the four solar panels and the top of the umbrella comes through right there. And here's the plug that will connect to the plug coming out the top of the umbrella. I don't know how much power these solar panels are rated to produce, but from the brochure it sounds like if it's a sunny day, that fan should keep on blowing on you for as long as you need. The tip of the umbrella unscrews. You take the solar panels and place it over the top like this. Put the tip of the umbrella back on. They do say that the uh, connections for the electricity to go from the solar panel collection into the umbrella and into the battery, these connections have been waterproofed. I'm gonna plug this in right now. I've got solar panels installed on the top of the umbrella and snapped closed. Let's see about opening it up here. And there we go, each solar panel has a Velcro strip so it's attached to the umbrella so they won't fly and flop around. Should be windy out. Now I mentioned about charging your electronic devices. Plug for that is right at the very bottom of the handle. Yep, yeah, there it is, there's the USB port. So they include a standard cable. You can use your own cable to plug in your phone, your tablet, any device you could run off a small battery backup that powers phones, you should be able to run off of this. But let's say it's nighttime, it's rainy, you're going for a walk, the battery's not charged, but you'd like that fan feature. Well, right here, below the USB out, Port. There's a USB in. You can charge this from a portable battery backup or from pl plugging it into your phone charger that plugs into the wall. And taking a walk on a sunny day, I could theoretically charge up my phone as I walked around with the umbrella up. I'll be testing out all these features tomorrow on the 4th of July. Our neighborhood has a parade 4th of July morning, so I will be in the parade along with my kids and our dog, and I'll be sporting this umbrella. And since the forecast for parade time tomorrow is about a 40% chance of rain, this should work either as para agua or para sol. So partly sunny day, I'm getting some solar action here, but hot enough to be uncomfortable, so I've got a fan going here. And what will this biggest advancement in umbrella technology in 2,000 years set you back? About $80. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. Epic review, guys. Wanna watch it all?